Hello everyone, this is the most magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, I'm back at it with another character review. And this character review is going to be on Gold Mythic Lethal Lydia. Sounds like Lethal Weapon, but... She's definitely got some lethal weapons, that's for sure. And we will definitely get into that. And before we get started, I hope all of you are doing good and staying safe out there. I'm doing good, and I'm staying safe for the most part. And I figured right now, you know, CRW is going on. And I figured, you know what, I might as well get this done now because... I do plan on pulling for this character because I do think she's actually really good. She actually might be the best Gold Rush character in a really long time, no lie. Like, I think she's that good. But yeah, let's, uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and jump into this character review, shall we? Lethal Lydia Hilltop. Her trait is alert, her role is a damage dealer, and her allegiance is a member of the Hilltop. Now let's take a look at her stats. Her attack stat is 28,258, her defense is 12,110, and her HP is 17,301. Now let's take a look at her Adrenaline Rush. Flashing Daggers. The recharge rate is 55 AP, so that's a little bit faster than most Gold Mythics. Deal 500% damage to a line of enemies. Then, if the primary target has less than 75% of their max HP, deal 50% of this fighter's current HP as main damage to that line of enemies. So that's very interesting. Nothing too complicated about it. It's pretty straightforward. She's doing 500% damage to a line of enemies, which honestly, for a free-to-play tune, that's actually pretty good. And especially for a Gold Rush character, that's actually very good, in my opinion. Plus... If the primary target has less than 75% of their max HP, which is more than likely. Although, you know, if you weren't attacking that target beforehand, then it wouldn't be possible. But if you are, if you were attacking that target beforehand, then she's going to deal her current HP, at least 50% of her current HP as maim damage and that's obviously going to be pretty good for you and bad for them unless they can recover that maim damage but the likelihood of them still being around with that damage is less than likely which is going to be a really good thing so she's definitely hitting hard and you know she's dishing out maim damage potentially so that's going to be really good. I like the Adrenaline Rush really good so far. Now let's take a look at her signature move. Deadly Hit. The initial cooldown is turn 1. One turn for the cooldown. Number of uses unlimited. Make, uh, not make, attack an enemy for 400% damage plus one attack if the enemy has a positive status effect then if the target has less than 50 percent of their max hp this fighter gets a hundred percent attack for two turns which you know here we do here we are she is uh going to be dealing out 400 percent damage which is honestly a little nice appetizer a nice warm-up to the adrenaline rush which that's going to be pretty good the 400 percent damage 
of course, it's not as much as the Adrenaline Rush, but it's, like I said, it's a nice little appetizer. It's a nice little warm-up for the Adrenaline Rush, which does 500% damage. Plus, you know, one attack, if that enemy has a positive status effect, that could be anything positive for them. Like, you know, healing... An attack buff that's, you know, not a attack down buff, but, you know, attack buff, a defensive buff, anything that's positively affecting them like it states. Plus, if that target has less than 50% of their max HP, then Lita, I mean, Lita, I don't know where I'm getting that from, Lydia... <laughs> Lydia will get 100% attack for two turns, which that's going to be, that's obviously going to be pretty good, and uh, that means she'll be doing a little bit more damage than she normally would, and she's already doing a good amount of damage already without that buff, so, so far, I'm really liking L Lita's I don't know where I'm getting Lita from. Lydia, I'm liking Lydia's Adrenaline Rush and Signature Move. They're both really good from Lydia's kit so far. Now let's take a look at her mythic abilities. Agility, 20% increase in basic attack damage. Don't need to really say too much more about Lydia's agility. Go ahead and level that up. It's only going to help her kit even more. Absolutely. Defense Disruption. Before attacking, the target gets minus 60% defense for two turns. That's going to be pretty good, honestly. I mean, because there's another thing, there's another part of her kit that has to do with defense, which we will get to in a minute. But yeah, I think Defense Disruption for Lydia, that's going to be really good, honestly. Uh, you know, usually when you attack, you don't usually dish out minus defense normally. So this is a case where I would go ahead and level that one up. Because I feel like you would be getting the most out of Lydia by leveling up. Defense Disruption, absolutely. I think it'll be a really good one down the road for sure. Kill Frenzy. When killing an enemy, this fighter gets 150% attack and 100% attack down resistance for two turns. Okay, so... I don't think this is the number one most important one to level up. But I still think it's a pretty good one. So when she kills an enemy, when Lydia kills an enemy, she will get a hundred and yeah, she'll get a hundred and fifty percent attack, which is going to be pretty good. Plus, she will get that one hundred percent attack down resistance, which you know, in certain situations, I think that one could be really good. But the point is. I don't think it's like the number one top priority one, but it's definitely still a very good one. I don't think any of Lydia's mythic abilities are bad at all. I think they're worth all leveling up, in my opinion. So, Kill Frenzy would be another one worth leveling up. Bullseye. When attacking, 100% chance to ignore enemy defense bonuses so defense disruption and bullseye are gonna work really well together bullseye is 100% going to be worth leveling up for sure aside from agility I think bullseye is probably the second most important mythic ability that Lydia needs to be you know leveled up that way you can get the most use out of her so far I like all of Lydia's all of her mythic abilities I think they're all worth leveling up for sure I think you'll be able, I think you'll be able to get the most out of Lydia you know if you level up every single mythic ability now let's take a look at her specialist skill decapitate 
when this fighter lands the killing blow on a target, that target cannot be revived. No need to really go into this all this all that much. You already know what Decapitate does. It's pretty much like Crosshairs. It's both Crosshairs and Decapitate are they're very similar. I mean, when she's killing enemies, they aren't getting back up. That's the short version of it, and that's a really good specialist skill for her kit, honestly. Absolutely. Now, let's take a look at her weapon. Lydia's Savage Throwing Knives. 40% attack, a huge bonus to AP when attacking. When attacking, a 100% chance this fighter reduces reflected and counter damage to zero improved alert healing up to two teammates regain 20 percent hp per turn for each alert teammate on the team so honestly i do think this is a really good weapon i don't think you could put anything better on this character i don't know maybe i'm wrong but if you have a better idea, let me know. But right now, her base weapon is already just... Oh, man. Let's start off with the with the 40% attack. That's already pretty good with Lydia. 40% attack, huge bonus to AP when attacking. Now, the third and fourth slots, this is where she could be a difference maker for sure. Especially the third slot. A 100% chance that she will reduce reflected or, you know, reflected and counter damage to zero when she's attacking. So, she can hit all them Peacekeepers, Vengeance, Jesus, Tunes, all she wants. And she doesn't have to worry about Payback or Vengeance, which... In this day and age is still a real problem so she's definitely gonna help with that so I do think that's a excellent third slot that you can't and the thing is you can't even craft that so that makes it even that much better improved alert healing up to two teammates regain 20% HP per turn for each alert teammate on the team. Okay. So this one, the fourth slot, I still think it's pretty good, but this one could be a hit or miss. Like, the idea is to have a team with other alert teammates around her. That way the benefits of improved alert healing will be even better than if she's the only one receiving it. Like, for example, right now I could put Lethal Lydia on my Philip Blake team right there. There you go. Because I have at least Philip Blake, St. Patty's Day, Rosita, and then Lethal Lydia. There you go. That's three alert teammates that could benefit heavily from that fourth slot. Which, and then, you know, there's other alert team, uh, alert tunes that could also benefit from that but that's you know that's just a good example of how that would help out and honestly philip blake's uh, leader skill gives out 45 percent attack so lethal lydia could definitely take advantage of that for sure absolutely and make her attack that much better so overall i love her weapon and the fact that she doesn't have a standard pistol or SMG that most alert tunes would have instead she's got them daggers and that that's awesome because usually alert tunes don't have like daggers or like throwing weapons usually I can't think of the last tune that has a throwing weapon if you can let me know but so there's my uh, character review on her and um yeah, I like the artwork, and there's that, ooh, there's that sneaky, sneaky alpha in the background. Perhaps, arguably, the best Walking Dead villain next to, or 
right at neck and neck with the governor. Absolutely. It's definitely between the governor and Alpha that is at, uh, as far as the best Walking Dead villain, without a doubt. I don't know, maybe one day if you asked me, I would have the governor ahead of Alpha. If another day you asked me, I might have Alpha ahead of the governor. I mean, they're both that they're both that evil, but they they do such a good job at being really good villains, though. So I, I gotta give them that. I mean, Negan, yeah, he's, he's cool, but he's not a full-on villain. At least not anymore. He's more of an anti-hero, let's be honest. But, I mean, I don't know. We'll see what Dead City uh, Season 2 brings with that, but... I don't think he'll, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think we'll see Negan go back to full villain there. I don't know if that's the right word, but I don't know if we'll see him go back to being a full villain is what I mean. But anyway, what are your thoughts on Gold Mythic Lethal Lydia? Are you going to pull for her or are you just going to skip her and... If you have pulled for her, how lucky or how unlucky did you get with your pulls? Let me know down in the comments because I will be making a pull video relatively soon sometime after this video. I'm not sure exactly when, but it'll be coming, so just be on the lookout for it. And that's all I got for you guys for today. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and for your continued support. Or, if you're new, welcome in for the first time. All of you are very awesome, and I thank you again. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buck Beak, and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.